So I have a lightning effect here. I drag it into the timeline. Then in inspector here, go to video composite and change composite mode to screen. Then by selecting this arrow and choosing transform, we can easily adjust the scale and move in the position you would like it to be. Then I would like to cut this corner here and hide it behind the trees. To do that, I go to color, go to window here and choose this pen tool here and select to remove this part and kind of hide it behind the trees. Once we make a selection in this area, right click, add alpha output and connect blue to blue. Then where you have the mask, there is this button, press it here to reverse the selection and go to softness, increase softness to make it blend in better and more seamlessly. We can go back to edit. We can preview the lightning. Then we have this flashing box here. We drag it into the timeline and we make sure that it aligns perfectly together with the lightning. And for this flashing box, again, you go to video composite and change the blend mode to overlay. Now we're going to highlight certain areas that normally flashlight going to affect and make it look more brighter. So we will go to color again, window, and we select the mask and make a selection of reflective surfaces, perhaps the edges of the roof here on the tree. And once you make a selection, of course, don't forget to right click, add alpha output, connect blue to blue. Once it's done, add some softness. And to create another mask, press here, which says curve and repeat the same step. Once you have all the selections done, you can go back to edit and you can preview it. And you can see that the lightning and the flashing highlights are perfectly in sync. Then we can improve the scene by dragging another flash box into the timeline. Again, we make, sh make sure it's perfectly aligned together with the rest of the videos. In composite mode, let's change it again to overlay. And this time in color mode, we select the mask and we select only the sky area. Again, make a quick selection like this. Right click, add alpha output, connect blue to blue and add softness. Back in edit mode and here in composite mode, reduce opacity. I'll leave it around 30. And if you can preview it, you will see that everything is perfectly in sync and it's looking really good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.